There's a simple way to organize your tools to save time in PowerPoint. If you're a beginner, you will love this trick. The trick is to use Quick Access Toolbar. What is Quick Access Toolbar? It is the strip of tools that you see here, either below or above the ribbon. You can use this to park the most commonly used tools in PowerPoint, so you don't have to go searching for the tools by going to the various options and then drilling through the drop-down menu, flyout menu, etc. First, let us learn how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Most people teach you the roundabout way, which is to go to File, then go to Options, and then go to Quick Access Toolbar, and then pick up the tools from here, and then place them over here. But there is a much more efficient way to reach this dialog box. Let me show you. You go to the Quick Access Toolbar, either below or above the ribbon, right-click, and you instantly get this option called Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Click on it, and the same dialog box opens up. Here, you can pick up the tool that you want to place in the Quick Access Toolbar. The best part is you can access some of the commands that are not even available on the PowerPoint ribbon. You can go to All Commands option and you will see that there is a whole plethora of options and tools available that you can pick and choose from to place on the Quick Access Toolbar. I would highly recommend that you check out the various options out here so you can really customize your Quick Access Toolbar to save you the most amount of time. But if you don't want to do something as elaborate as this, and you want to just place the most commonly used tools that are available on the PowerPoint ribbon in your Quick Access Toolbar, then there is an even shorter way. And that is, you go to any of the tools, right-click, and you will have the option called Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And if I want to remove this, I can right-click and say Remove from Quick Access Toolbar, and the job is done. I use this option to pick up tools from other tabs apart from the Home tab, because this is where I spend most of my time. So if I want to go to Insert, and let us say I want to have the option to insert pictures, then I can right click and go to add to quick access toolbar and that option is available here. So I can keep working on the home tab without having to go to the other tabs. Now, once you place all your favorite tools in your quick access toolbar, then it's only a matter of moving your mouse cursor to just the relevant tool, which is right here and then complete your operation. For example, if I want to align and distribute these three objects, all I need to do is to select all of them, go to align left, one job done, distribute vertically, another job done, and here my slide is beautifully organized. Now let me give you another shortcut that can save you even more time. Now let me undo the operations that I just did. Now, if I were to align everything to the left and distribute vertically, I can use the shortcut options. All I need to do is to just hit Alt, and that will give you the number to access these various tools. Now, to access Align Left, I need to use 1. So I hit 1, and it is Align to Left. Now, what is the number to distribute vertically? I don't have to think and memorize that option. I just need to hit Alt again, and that shows me the number. I hit 8, and it is distributed vertically. Let me do this operation in real time so you can see how fast it can be. So I have got everything in a disorganized way. Alt, 1, job done. Alt, 8, job done. Can you see it's that fast? Now, the last step is to organize the various tools in the order that you like. If I want to move this pictures tool all the way to the left so I can use Alt, 1 shortcut, I can do so by right-clicking on any of these tools on the Quick Access Toolbar and go to Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And here I have the option for pictures. I just need to use this option here called move up and I can move it all the way to the top. And now I have the tools organized in just the right order and I can say OK. So if I want to insert stock images onto my slide, all I need to do is to first access quick access toolbar by hitting Alt and I can choose number one to access pictures. And here I have the shortcut to access stock images, which is S. So I hit S and the dialog box opens up for my stock images. I can choose the image I want and I can say insert and the job done. So if you're a beginner in PowerPoint and if you have not set up your quick access toolbar, then please spend the next five minutes to choose the tools that you want to keep on your quick access toolbar and you will really save a lot of time in working with PowerPoint. If you like these tips and you want a quick refresher of the various tools in PowerPoint, then I highly recommend that you watch this video called PowerPoint for Beginners Step-by-Step -step Tutorial to get started. I will leave a link to this video in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. So go ahead. 
click on this video and pick up some useful PowerPoint tips and tricks right now.